Thousands of women are needed for a massive study to test new breast cancer screening. This study is being done at all five UC medical centers. It will test whether annual mammograms are really the best way to screen for breast cancer, or if a more personalized approach involving genetics could deliver some better results. New tonight, CBS 13 Sharin Roger is live at the UC Davis Research Center in Sacramento with much more on this. Sounds fascinating, Sharin. It really is. Sam and Adrian, some experts say that women need to get mammograms annually after the age of 40, but other experts say after the age of 45, even 50. Researchers of this study say that women are left confused, not knowing when to get their screenings, how to get screened, and they're hoping to change that. I have been told by radiologists that I should get a mammogram every year because I'm 55. But I don't believe I'm at that high of risk. Dorsey Griffith is a UC Davis health staff member and one of about 6,000 women who immediately signed up for this massive study on breast cancer screening. I hope that it answers some questions once and for all for women throughout the country as to whether or not they need annual mammograms after age 40 or not. The study run by the five UC medical centers is recruiting 100,000 women throughout the state of California. What's the right screening schedule? For an individual woman. And I think we've learned that it's not the same answer for every woman. Pathologist Dr. Sandy Borowski is the principal investigator of the study at UC Davis Health. He says women taking part in the wisdom study will be split into two groups. One group that does mammogram screenings every year starting at the age of 40, which has been the gold standard for the last 30 years, and the other group will go through a more personalized approach, where screenings are based on your risk level, determined by an extensive questionnaire and a DNA kit mailed to your home. They ask a lot a lot of questions about your personal uh, family health history, your own history, and uh, they ask about your lifestyle. You'll get a report back. The report will be based on your questionnaire answers, but also based on your genetics, and it will tell you what your personal risk is. And the hope? To provide real answers. It will help me personally, but it will probably help a lot of other women too once the study is completed. Really fascinating research. Again, they're looking for 100,000 women to sign up, and researchers are allowing women to choose which group you'd like to participate in. And some insurance companies are even opting to pay for the genetic part of the testing. And if you don't have insurance, there's even some charitable funds to help you out with some of the costs. Very interesting. I'm sure they're going to have a lot of women calling them eager to sign up. All right, Sharin, thanks so much. And to learn more about this study or how you can take part, you can head to our website, cbs13.com. Not that it won't be uncomfortable.